We're going to represent multiplying fractions today. We're going to start with one half times one fifth. We have our box set up. The first way we're going to break it right in half, broken in half, and we're going to make sure that we shade in one half of our box. Now notice I'm making my diagonal lines so that when I shade in one fifth, I can shade them in the opposite way. Now I'm going to break my box into fifths. One, two, three, four. Four lines gives me fifths. I'm going to shade in one of my fifths, and this time I'm going to make my diagonal lines go the opposite way of my first lines. So when I do one half times one fifth, I have one box shaded in with both types of diagonal lines. So my answer is one for a numerator. I have a total of 10 boxes. So that gives me a denominator of 10. So one half times one fifth is one tenth. Let's look at it one more way. We're going to look down here at two thirds times three fourths. So here you can see I have my two thirds. So this time it's cut this way first, which is totally fine. So I'm going to make sure I shade in two thirds of my box. So I have two thirds of my box shaded in. Now I'm going to look at my three fourths and I'm going to see that I have one, two, three, four. Now my box is cut vertically for my fourths. So I need to shade in three of those fourths. So once again, I'm going to shade the opposite way. Here's one fourth. Here's two fourths. And here's three fourths. The lines don't have to be perfect. So my total for two thirds times three fourths, I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. A total of six boxes that are shaded in with both angles of my shade mark. So my 6 goes on top of my numerator. I have a total of 12 boxes. So that becomes 6 twelfths, which we all know can be reduced to 1 half by dividing by 6, dividing by 6.